Senator Sifuna. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Allow me to also wish my colleagues a uh, happy new year. It's good to see all of you, including you, Mr. Speaker. And uh, it's quite telling that uh, this is one of a few committees where there's very little contestation. Uh, I don't see as much interest uh, from members to be part of this committee as others. And uh, I was just uh, asking my colleagues who have served with me on that committee in the previous uh, session, Mr. Speaker, it could be because this is those of one of those committees in this House that does not have the usual trappings uh, and packs of other committees. There are no trips for the Senate Business Committee. In fact, Mr. Speaker, there are no packs that I am aware of. And this is one of those committees that cannot be adjourned for lack of quorum. So if you are a member of this committee, you must show up for meetings of this committee. And I suspect that is why the interest is not as high as the impending committee on impeachment of the governor of uh, Kisi County that I've had here. Mr. Speaker, it has been the privilege of my life, uh, my short life in this house, to serve on the SBC. I know just what awaits us in terms of scheduling business for this house. We have struggled with the many requests we got from members when it came to instances, for instance, on uh, question time to cabinet secretaries. And I know now that uh, the minority side uh, also fully participates on this issue of questioning uh, cabinet secretaries before this house. There's going to be an overwhelming uh, number of requests for questions to put to cabinet secretaries. I can only hope that this house through its leadership can communicate to the CSS that we would expect uh, full uh, you know, uh, cooperation from these uh, cabinet secretaries for us to be able to execute the business of the house. Mr. Speaker, uh, I may be the only one, but uh, every time uh, you flip a calendar, the expectation is that you will turn a new leaf in your life also. Uh, my expectation uh, during this session was to see the best side of my colleagues here. But some of the comments that have already gone ahead have dampened my spirit and my expectation that uh, some of my colleagues return the very same people we said goodbye to in December. Uh, and uh, in the sort of deb debate that we're going to have here, Mr. Speaker, I was hoping to see a change, uh, that we are new people, that we would give opportunity to new ideas and new thoughts, that we will listen to each other uh, better, that we will not use this opportunity to rile up each other. Uh, if, for instance, there is a critical matter, such as a matter that was uh, involving uh, both sides of the political divide as a bipartisan report, some of the comments that I have heard from my colleagues leave me very worried of what we can expect in this session. And I know the majority leader uh, must have been as offended as I have been by some of the comments directed at a committee that he served very ably and was able to midwife a child under very difficult political circumstances. Mr. Speaker, also last year we had cautioned that as a house we should not be preempting our own business so that people should not be anticipating debate and making uh, comments that lend the, themselves to uh, some of the attacks we have received as a house, that matters come here when there is already a predetermined outcome. It has broken my heart, Mr. Speaker, for people to speak about business that might come before this house in a manner that suggests that decisions have already been reached. Even before we, we are seized of those matters, it is quite heartbreaking that indeed some people turn the calendars in their, in their houses, but they never turn a new leaf in their own lives and in their own conduct as elected leaders. Mr. Speaker, I want to reiterate my commitment as a member of this, a proposed member of this committee, that in fact, if uh, approved by this House, I will dedicate my time as required to be able to conduct uh, the business of the SBC and uh, some of the things that, because members, the proposed members have not uh, uh, gotten to speak, ordinarily we, we shouldn't speak, is that, uh, Mr. Speaker, we make other sacrifices to be members of the Senate Business Committee. Uh, you have seen in other uh, instances, members argue, oh, so-and-so is on four committees, so-and-so has too many committees, and they start with the SBC as if it is a regular committee. So then you hear people saying, no, Sifuna must now leave the Energy Committee, he must now concentrate fully on the SBC. With all its, uh, uh, you know, uh, lack of the packs that, that, that I have described here. So, Mr. Speaker, I believe that my colleagues who have served on that committee in the previous session 
uh, have given their best in the service of this house and I am sure that uh, their commitment is unwavering for us to be able to deliver the mandate of this house. Lastly, Mr. Speaker, uh, yesterday I was at a burial and the, the preacher who gave the preaching there uh, said something profound to me that life at its best is very, very short. Mr. Speaker, I could not believe when I heard the news about Kelvin Kiptum that just when his career was taking off, just when he was becoming a global brand, just when everything looked uh, you know, up for him, we lost that young man in the most tragic of circumstances. I want to also take this opportunity on my own behalf, on behalf of my family, on behalf of the ODM party, for which I am the SG, to condole with the family of Kelvin Kiptum and to just say that uh, we, we pray that God rests his soul in eternal peace. I thank you, Mr. Speaker. Senator Mundegi.